Uh, what's the most distant star you can see with the naked eye? Ooh, that's, so that's an interesting question. Because I can answer that two ways. So one of them is the most distant thing you can see with the naked eye is our nearest red-blooded galaxy, the Andromeda Galaxy. Mm -hmm. And for the longest while, until the early 1920s, it was called the Andromeda Nebula because it was just this fuzzy thing in the night sky among the stars that trace out the constellation Andromeda. So we named it after Andromeda. And it was just a nebula, fuzzy thing. And then with better and better telescopes, you say, wait a minute, this thing is composed of stars. Wait a minute, this thing is far away. Wait a minute, this is an entire other galaxy. It's not just a fuzzy thing in the Milky Way, it's another Milky Way. Well, how far away is it? It was not close, quote, close like these stars we see in the night sky. This is outside of our entire galaxy. The stars you see in the night sky are tens, hundreds, a few, or thousands of light years away. The Andromeda galaxy is two million light years away. And you can see that with the naked eye. I, I believe I saw that when I was in Chile. You would have. Well, no, 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 no. That's too far north. There are other fuzzy objects in the night I sky. I saw two. That's called, those were first described and written about by Ferdinand Magellan. Mm -hmm. uh, that guy was no Magellan, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> he was, uh, sorry, what I should say is Western folk first learned of these two clouds when Magellan did his round the world voyage. Mm -hmm. Clearly, Aboriginal peoples of Australia knew all about the Magellanic Clouds. So they named it in his honor, the Magellanic Clouds. And they were called clouds at the time. They are galaxies as well. Yes. Except they're closer. There's a small one and a big one. And they're called the small Magellanic Cloud and the yeah. large Magellanic Cloud. Yeah, they really went out on the names. <laughs> Would we, we tell it like it is? Yeah, they blew the bank on that one. <laughs> so those are relatively nearby, a couple hundred thousand, hundred thousand light years away. Um, the uh, Andromeda is two million light years away. You're not seeing an individual star you're seeing hundreds of billions of stars, the muddled, muddied light, the blended light of hundreds of billions of stars that comprise the Andromeda galaxy. That is the farthest object visible Would you the unaided eye. And, and you can't see that from New York or any light, no, light polluted no, place. Just no. go out in the countryside, uh, it'll be there. Would you um, venture to think that if there are people there, that they could see us the same fuzzy way we see them? Oh, by all means. Oh yeah, I think about that all the time. Yeah. In fact, if there were if there was intelligent life there and they had detectors and they're looking our way, they would see us not as we are, but as we were two million years ago. Because that light is only just now reaching them. Wow. So they would not see signs of what we would call intelligence on Earth. Yeah. They'd well, see very if, I, I if don't, they saw us now, they wouldn't see those so signs. Either. Concluded. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the Andromeda Galaxy. There it is. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Good no, job. I, I think the word awesome shouldn't have qualifiers in front of it. Something either is or is not awesome. Yeah, it's not pretty awesome. It's not no, similar it's, to awesome. <laughs> it is not a, sort a of simile awesome. of awesome. <laughs> no, I'm pretty awesome. I'm going to go pretty awesome. awesome. All right, all right. I mean, it's awesome. It's also pretty awesome. Oh, pretty awesome.